Good evening everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Jellybean, and we are back today playing EU4 as Muscovy. Uh, last episode we uh, declared war on Oirad, I know, and we took some provinces here from Uzbek, that's what it was. So, um, just in the middle of the war here with Oirat, um, I don't know what the peace deal is going to look like, and I don't know how many more provinces we have have to go to. So, but let's just get going here. We're also trying to uh, discover these provinces, so... That's stupid. Uh, let's take you guys back here, actually. Same with you. Our mill engineer died. Let's do... Uh, he's... We are gaining 10 gold a month. But let's just do this guy for now. Man, this guy really sucks. <laughs> Stab cost modifier is not too bad. I want to look at our tech. So, last episode I had asked about Diplo tech. And somebody, PRZ I, I think it was, um, explained that the study technology, if you're behind on tech, you can, or they're ahead of you. On tech, you can spy on somebody, and I think I did a little research, and I think it's once you get a f spy network to fifty, I think you get a discount on tech. So I never knew that. That is awesome, <laughs> actually, just because, like I said, I never knew that. Um, two years ahead of time, we got to get up to six thousand gold. Or uh, 6,000, we're at 600. Like 1,400 gold, last I checked, for tech. Or institution, Jesus. 1,500. We're not that close. If I could get, get it to Moscow, I know that would lower it a ton. I am going to spend... couple admin points here to bump this up some. When is this? 15, 19? So two-ish years. Let's go to Mongolia. We've already got a skill 3 that's half off. Is this Oyrat? This is Oyrat. Yeah, we're gonna do that. That works. Uh, what's this mission? Just invade Novgorod. Come take these guys out. Why do we have an infantry here? That's weird. And there's Circassia still helping us with our rebels. I gotta make sure to get Streltsy too. I keep forgetting that I can buy Streltsy. I'll do that one. Uh, extend these loans, please. Yeah, I have no idea why that uh, 
thousand troops is just sitting there. I feel like we should try... Great Britain would help. That sucks. Man. They really do not want. To help us. At, or uh, ally us at all. What does Norway's province war score cost? 153. Damn, really? So we'd have to take 50% from them in a peace deal before we could vassalize them. I don't know if that's worth it. Uh, oh yeah, you're still going there. Good. I guess I will say I wasn't sure how big Oirat was going to be. And they're a lot bigger than I thought they were or would be. Um, looking at everything here, I think I'm going to try to snake my way down like this in this peace deal. Give this all to me, please. Yeah, I want that one too. Nope. 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 Yeah, 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 there it is. Since it's not controlled by... So I just have to take that province. Nope. Sorry there, bud. But I cannot help you. Do we want to take this idea or no? I think so. One more gives us discipline and morale recovery speed. That'd actually be really nice. Ooh, and it gives us another 10% morale as well. Damn it, dude. Get out of here. Alrighty. Just like that, we're losing innovativeness. How many points do we need? 812 only. So we could almost take... Admin Tech if we wanted to. 2.25, 1520 now? Why did this go up? That's weird. Let's burn the t tax. And then bump this up a little bit more. Still 1520, that doesn't make sense. Now it's 1519. Let's just do that. Good. 
Come deal with these rebels, please. We'll do that. That's fine. Artillery combat. That's pretty cool. There's Mongolia. Uh, that's not actually the one I wanted to click. That's my bad. So here are their armies. Let's try and compete. Uh, they're running away. Of course they are. Keep converting. One more month. Could you do with general? Wait, I'm confused. Attacker. Oh, that's super annoying, actually. They would take this peace deal right now. I want more though. Return cores. Om to see beer. And that's good there. Can I get. That's not at all what I wanted. So for Kazakh to become a vassal, it would take 44% war score. I don't know if I want that. I don't think I need to go down. Nope, just like that. Come back. Give Om to see beer. If I do something like that, no, I can't make them my. I still can't. Weird. Oh, there. Twelve percent worse score still. Hmm. I feel like I'd rather eat into Oyrat than Kazakh. I think I'm happy with this peace deal. I want to just see how much money I could get. 395 ducats. Hmm. If I back off just a little bit, I could get 372 ducats. Which means I wouldn't have to take... Let's see here, actually. It is present here, so how much would it cost us? 1447. Damn. If we could get it in Zubtsov or Tavir, it would actually start spreading to Moscow, but that's going to take a while. I don't have time for that. So, we are going to take some money. And send that demand. Can I really only core? 
I can only carve one at a time. Holy shit. Okay. Well, so be it, I guess. Now let's... Come to our economy tab. Take a loan. And embrace colonialism. Because now we can take admin tech. Which. Let's select our idea group. Uh, just kidding, I lied. We are going to form Russia. National manpower, autonomy change, yearly absolutism, governing cap, Laos Streltsy, change to an empire, gain a permaclaim on Russia, Pontic Steppe, and Ural regions. Yes, please, give me new traditions and ambitions. And look at that, we are Russia, that is beautiful. Looking at our Russian ideas. Aggressive expansion impact. That's pretty decent. Automatically discover uh, adjacent when a colony is built and may establish Siberian frontiers. Artillery cost and combat ability. Land force limit. Uh, we don't have that one yet. Yearly corruption. Morale of armies and fire damage received. For a finisher. We also get national manpower and core creation cost. That's huge. And that actually makes me want to stop coring these things. Just because I think it might be a little cheaper. Anyways. We need these to be cores first, and then I think we can do the Siberian frontiers. Ooh. We are going to move our capital to St. Petersburg. Let's do that first. Stab cost, but tolerance, no thanks. Yeah, we are... What does this give us? Anyways, um, we are going to make St. Petersburg our capital. But they're just going to put us in debt, though. But now looking here, I am kind of thinking... I want something that I guess would help us with Poland. Or against Poland. Manpower and true faith provinces, not bad. That missionary strength is nice. Yearly patriarch authority is nice. Religious opinion, day's fault is obviously nice. Hmm. I am kind of thinking religious. What else could help us? I'm not going to do another mill idea. Not right now. Maybe eventually we'll do quality or something. I'm kind of thinking religious, though. The manpower is always nice. We're up to 73,000 already. Holy crap. That missionary strength is nice because we still have provinces to convert. We're going to do religious. Now we got one in each group. Can't core anything up still. Let's split you in half. Send one of you there. And the other one there. Ooh. 
gained 50 admin power, and I got the achievement All Belongs to Mother Russia. Ouch. I knew that loan was coming, but that's all right. Okay. Found the Zardom. Gives us what? Monthly autonomy. Yeah, we're going to do that for sure. Appease the Patriarchate. Consecrating a Metropolitan will now give plus 10% local tax instead of the state maintenance. I want to actually I want to check that out quick like if we come here to st. Petersburg wrong one Weeborg is finished so we can't we could do the Novgorod state maintenance plus 10 and monthly devastation but Instead of the state maintenance modifier, we get plus 10%. State income is 2.37. Let's just check this right now. 2.57. Maybe that's what it was before. That didn't hurt us here, though. So 2.2 in Yaroslavl, 2.31, so it went up. <laughs> oh, okay, so why wouldn't I conse consecrate metropolitans everywhere? I guess if you guys can think why I wouldn't consecrate metropolitans everywhere, let me know. Otherwise, I think... I think that's a great thing to do. Like 3.44, 3.55, so an extra 0.11 ducat a, a month we're getting from Galich here. And it, it stays the same. We're losing money right now a little bit, I think, but I could turn off some of these forts. That would help. Turn off Feeborg too. Um, wow. Russia, once you actually form it, I feel like is super strong. When does our truce with Norway end? Before I forget. 1525, so six years. Eh. I'd rather go to war with somebody else in the meantime. Maybe Chakatai? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe actually. Let's... I don't like that this guy is here. 13-1, We're missing cavalry somewhere, I think. Oh, wait, maybe not. No, I lied. 13 and 11. Yeah, that makes sense. This is just an extra guy we've got lying around, it looks like. And I'm going to... I'm just going to get rid of them for now. Um, so yeah, I think I would like to go to war here. They got a lot of troops. I still want a stupid ally. It kind of bothers me that we can't find one.
The trust is barely going up. Mamluks wouldn't take an alliance anymore. Bohemia wouldn't take an alliance. Let's improve relations with Bohemia again. This game is so messed up, or this campaign. Because look at Castile. They never got... The Iberian Wedding, so they don't have Aragon, so they're not going to form... Uh, Spain. Do they have colonies? They are allied with France. These guys... Okay. Let's improve with Castile as well. Anyways... Transoxiana is 60, 73, I think, versus Chagatai, which is 41, 65. <laughs> Chagatai might be the one to do here. Actually, Transoxiana would be the one to do, I think. I don't understand why they do this. You go there, because you're closer. You go there. Okay, so they f formed the Commonwealth here. Is that good or bad for us? I don't know. On the one hand, we only have one country to fight now, but that's going to make them a lot stronger. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, we can actually core everything now. That's nice. Oh, and we're making money. When we're a Miltech head. All right, let's start. Steal modern ideas. Okay, see. Okay, I'm curious here. Let's pull back from C beer, and we're gonna build a spy network on the Commonwealth. Statesman died. We're going to take this half off guy. Let's also. Actually, we can just wait. As soon as this guy gets down here. Will declare war. Sistan, Soren, I mean Hormuz, Fars, Multan. I think maybe we'll be fine. Let's do this guy. Actually, we'll just split you now. Clear for Gorgonj if we've got it. We don't. Turkestan? We do have that. So let's come. Oh, Karkal Pak was ours too at one point.
call her diplomat with Bohemia. They still wouldn't ally us. Damn. Let's turn this down just a little bit. Listen, can't. Why can't we go down there? Okay. Well, go th there, I guess. Let's do this one. Wait, I said it. I thought it said it wouldn't lead to a revolt. Maybe I just read that wrong. Oh, we couldn't go to Samarkand because of the level 2 fort here. Okay, that makes sense. What is your siege ability? Five. So split you in half. That sucks. Losing that production efficiency. Mm. Good job, C beer. We'll go there instead then. We are going to keep this army here though to provide support in case we need it. And with that guys, we are out of time. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the episode today, go ahead and click the like button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button as well. New content every day at 12 noon Eastern time with additional content Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 1230 Eastern time. And we'll see you again next time.